Hello all, welcome to part 26 of STNG training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how come a set of tests which are categorized into uh, some groups depend on other groups using dependency stack and also by using depends on attribute in test ng. So let's get started. Okay, for this concept to be clear, I have to practically demonstrate, guys. So let's get started. So earlier, guys, some test methods were depending on other test methods. But in this session, I am going to show you how come a group of tests will dependent on or depend on other group of tests. Okay, in the previous session also depends on groups. Your test, how come it test methods depend on the groups? Okay, after the group related tests are completed, then the uh, depends on groups test methods will be running okay dependent tests will be running here groups will be depending on groups guys okay here tests are depending on group here tests are depending on other tests okay that is the difference guys okay if you have to see properly in the previous sessions what i covered is tests depending on other tests okay we will provide the uh, depends on methods and provide the name of the test. Okay, that means after this tests are executed only, then this particular test will be executed. Okay, and later I showed you how come the test will depend on groups. Okay, after the test related to a particular category of groups, this particular tests are depend on are executed, then only this test will be executed. Now, what I'm talking about is how come a set of tests which are related to one group or groups will depend on depend on execution of the tests which are related to other groups. After the tests which are related to other groups are executed, then only the test related to these groups will be executed. Like, for example, if you want to execute the smoke-related smoke, smoke related tests first, then sanity, next, then regression, next. How to do that? Okay, here all these are groups. Here, tests related to sanity are dependent on regression. After, uh, I mean, tests related to sanity are dependent on smoke. Okay, tests related to regression are dependent on sanity let's say okay like this guys okay so after smoke test uh, smoke test related tests are completed then sanity related group tests should be executed then regression test uh, related group should be executed that's what we are going to discuss guys groups depending on groups okay uh, test uh, a set of uh, tests related to one group depending on other tests which related to other groups after they got executed then only these groups will be executed and Previous things were tests are depending on tests, tests depending on groups and so on. But now groups depending on groups. How to do that? For that, guys, uh, we have to go to, uh, for that, we have to go to group for groups depending on groups. We have to use two things. One is dependency stack and other one is depends on attribute. There are two things, guys, dependence and dependence on attribute. For that, we have to create a test in XML file. We can use this dependency stack and depends on attribute only inside the test in XML file. So, before that, guys, I'll show you this Eclipse ID where we have the sample project. Under the test, we have this login.java. Here, there are five tests, five to six tests are there. One is smoke. This particular test belongs to smoke. And this particular belongs to sanity group. This particular belongs to smoke. And this particular belongs to sanity. First smoke, then two are sanity. Then fourth one is smoke and fifth one is regression. Okay. So how many groups are there? Three groups are there. Smoke group, sanity group, and regression group. This uh, five tests can be categorized into. Now what I want to do is I, I want to right click on the project, select test ng and say convert to test ng. And this kind of uh, test ng XML file will be created directly under the project with this XML code. Click on finish guys. A test ng XML file got created here. Open the test ng, uh, uh, test ng XML file. Here at the test tag level, what I'm going to do is here, if I run this, all the five tests will run guys, okay? Let's see in which order they are running, let's see, okay? If I run this by default, if I run this uh, testng.xml or testng.xml file by default, in which order the tests are running, let's see. After that, we'll decide, okay? You see, first smoke is running, then sanity is running, then smoke is running, then smoke is running, then regression is running. Okay, there is a mistake, it looks like. Uh, here, this is smoke, this is sanity, guys, not smoke, okay? That is a problem. That's why we got three smokes there. Now run this, right click run as by default how the tests are running. First smoke is running, then sanity is running, then smoke is running, then sanity is running, then regression is running. I want to change the order guys. First I want smoke to be running, then sanity to should be running, then regression should be running, okay? For that what I will do is I'll go to testng.xml file and at the test tag level, I'll add something known as dependency stack. Depend 
dependencies tag okay like this starting and closing dependencies tag inside this i'll add depends sorry inside that i'll add something like this uh the test at lag level we have to add under the dependency we have to add groups guys okay group we have to specify the group that you want to run first group name you have to say name of the group what is the name of the group let's say name of the group is uh sanity which depends on depends hyphen on smoke that means after smoke test got executed smoke uh, group related tests are executed then only sanity test will be executed i'll just close like this then another group i'll create group name is equal to regression and this regression group related tests, related tests will depend depends on sanity guys after sanity test got executed then only regression test need to be executed that means for smoke test related uh, group test related test will be executed then sanity related uh, group related test will be executed then only regression because regression are depending on sanity group tests okay so is there any problem with the test uh, multiple annotations find at this line the content uh, test must match yes it is matching here but uh, dependencies class is there any problem let me save this once time goes and open yeah the error is gone guys sometimes it happens when you restart the again it's coming guys okay again it's coming let me check what is the problem here dependencies is starting here dependencies is ending here group is starting here group is ending here group is ending here uh, then classes classes test is ending here but uh, it's not identifiable let me see groups groups dependencies dependencies group group okay okay so let me check what is the problem here i forgot one thing guys here that is nothing but uh this should be part of the groups actually okay so here if you clearly see here above the dependencies there is a groups actually okay i didn't provide that okay that's a mistake here we have to start with groups guys groups and under these groups dependencies need to be provided like this okay i'll remove this under the groups we'll have dependencies under the dependencies we'll have group okay a set of groups which are depending on other groups okay this is a format guys okay i forgot to provide the groups here that's why we got the error here that's fine now let's run this and you'll see that now you'll see that first smoke test will run smoke related group test will run then sanity group related test will run then regression group related tests will run okay run this right click run as a test ng suit and see what will happen first smoke then sanity then regression they are executing they are getting executed in an order and don't forget to provide groups guys that, that is a mistake i have done that's okay it happens so hope guys uh, uh, there is one more thing i need to explain what if any of the tests from the dependent groups fails remaining all will be skipped okay uh, for example here here regression is depending on sanity sanity is depending on smoke one of the tests in smoke let me fail intentionally okay for example this particular uh, smoke i'll fail it int a is equal to 5 divided by 0 so what will happen here you'll get arithmetic exception and smoke group related test will fail what about the remaining groups which are depending on the smoke group they need to be skipped from execution let's run this right click run as question g suit and uh, let's see what will be skipped only one smoke got executed guys uh second smoke didn't get executed because it got an exception because of that there is a one pass is the smoke and other smoke got failed and remaining three tests from other groups like uh, sanity and regression sanity and uh okay got skipped okay got skipped so we didn't get any results also proper okay what's happening here let me close this and uh yeah uh this is another thing don't take it properly so right click on test and xml file and run as test so let's see okay three skips are there uh here nothing is coming guys okay here nothing is coming i think i'm clicking on run button that's why it's running okay login with uh, valid credentials got failed and uh, okay so 
one minute one let me run it again all problem here okay I'll click here you, now you will see the proper results you see login with the invalid credentials smoke test got run first and which got passed whereas login with valid credentials smoke test got uh, failed because of which the sanity test got uh, skipped and uh, regression uh, test also got skipped regression group uh, all test related things also got skipped okay that's what will happen guys remaining tests will skip okay because these are depending on the groups okay so hope guys you understood any test from the dependent groups fails remaining all will be skipped okay that you already know from the previous sessions also but explicitly related to groups i demonstrated again but this what is the syntax guys groups under that we have to provide dependencies in test ng uh, xml file at the test tag level group name group name and which is depending on other group names okay here we have used dependencies tag and depends on attribute along with the uh, in, in the test ng xml file okay so that's all for this session guys in the next session i'm going to cover another test ng topic for you till then see you bye bye